Hi there, I'm Jonathan from GuitarSetupGuide.com. Um, today I got a couple just simple basic guitar care and maintenance tips that you can use um, to really care for your guitar and keep it in, uh, in better shape. Um, so I'm just going to zip through them quick and hopefully you can really pick up something that will uh, help you extend the life of your guitar. First things, whenever you play your guitar, your hands sweat, um, you've got dirt on your hands, so start off by always washing your hands before you play your guitar. It's going to really help your strings and your fretboard stay clean. Um, the, the dirtier your strings get, the quicker they die, right? So the more often you're going to have to replace them. So if you wash your hands, that'll reduce the amount of uh, dirt and grime that gets on your strings. What I recommend doing is use a rag and clean off your guitar, okay? So just basically wiping it down, you know, um, get any any sweat, any grime off of there. You can wipe down around in the headstock, around the tuning pegs. Um, wipe down the body of your guitar. Uh, it's nice, it just keeps it shiny, but most importantly, you're removing all the grime and the sweat that can build up long-term and create damage to your guitar, right? So you go through. Um, this is a, a good one, is you actually slide, slide your cloth underneath the strings, and you can really just kind of wiggle it back and forth a bit like that and you can slide it all the way up the fretboard all the way up and then just kind of do that a couple times and that will really help collect any grime that's uh, on your fretboard underneath your strings all that kind of stuff it'll take it out clean it up and uh, really help get a little bit of extra life out of your strings and definitely prevent um, a lot of buildup on your fretboard because if you look at your fretboard I can almost guarantee you if you look up real close um, on just on the sides of the frets on some of the in some of the areas where you play the most I guarantee you there's going to be a little bit of buildup of some grime there and um, that's something that can be that you can deal with but it's not easy right uh, it's not as easy as preventative maintenance okay so onwards from that oh with the cloth use something nice and soft this is actually part of an old t-shirt that I had um, you can get you know just a cotton cloth nice and soft um, it doesn't have to be anything special just uh, make sure you do it Okay, uh, storing your guitar. If you're storing your guitar, uh, never ever store it outside. That'll just kill it. Um, that's a bad idea. Temp guitars are very sensitive to temperature fluctuations and humidity fluctuations, things like that. So if you store it on a guitar stand, make sure it's not in direct sunlight. Uh, say, for instance, close to a window. Um, if it is close to a window, you're going to get sunlight on it. That uh, The ultraviolet rays can actually affect the finish of your guitar and on top of that you're heating up your guitar and it's cooling down uh, every single day right and um, which isn't good for it if you're storing it uh, in the case that's good but make sure you don't like have it in your garage or something like that right you want it to be a, a consistent temperature ideally a nice comfortable room temperature is best and in a dry environment because what happens is the temperature changes wood changes right I don't know if you've ever been in a house where uh, and you've noticed that the door doesn't quite close right in the winter and then in the summer it works just fine. Well, that's because the wood is actually changing a little bit in response to the, the heat or the moisture in the air. And the same thing can happen with your guitar because your guitars are made out of wood. So things change a little bit and, uh, and they settle and stuff like that. And it can change um, the actual shape of the guitar, in fact, if you're going into extreme temperatures. So never leave your guitar in the car. Um, always bring it in with you. For instance, uh, you know, in the winter, your guitar will get very cold. In the summer, it's even worse because cars uh, inside the glass, it can really, really heat up. I don't know if you've ever killed a CD just by leaving it on the dash of your car. Well, <laughs> you definitely don't want that to happen to your prized guitar, right? So don't leave them in, the, uh, in, the, in cars or other places like that. Um, anywhere where the temperature is, is going to fluctuate a lot. The same thing with humidity. Um, moisture can really play havoc. If you live in a very humid environment, you'll notice your strings die very quickly. Um, <clears throat> it can, you know, it can really cause grief inside the electronics. Uh, and by the way, all these tips are apply both equally to um, acoustic guitars and electric guitars, basses, whatever. Um, it's all the same principles, right? And uh, what else do we got? Okay, here's a little simple tip for you. If you're noticing that your guitar is going out of tune, um, a fair bit, you can check in the end of your tuning pegs, chances are, you probably can't see that, but in the end of these particular tuning pegs, I've got a little screw, and you can sometimes tighten those up just to get your, your tuning pegs nice and, uh, and tight, uh, the tuning heads here, and uh, if, there, if there's play in it, you can try tightening that screw, and that can help a little bit, right? Um, what else have we got? 
you can uh, try using a little bit of compressed air on your uh, on your switches, any toggle switches or you know um, your volume knobs, stuff like that, and the connections. Just clean it out, open up the back panels, give it a nice little blast of compressed air. Um, make sure things are clean because the dust can really affect, um, cause you know that crackle crackle kind of sound when you're switching between your pickups or you're changing your volume or something like that. And you can get that crackly sound, um, which isn't very cool. So keeping the dust out of your uh, guitar really helps. Um, another little protection tool you can do is um, put strap locks on your guitar. They're really easy to install and they're they're very helpful. <laughs> they, they really can uh, can help protect your guitar in case you're, you know, you're not paying attention one day and something slips or your strap, you know, malfunctions or something. I've seen people drop their guitars and it is not very cool at all. Um, strap blocks are cheap. They're about 20 bucks. Um, <clears throat> well worth uh, investing in that. So there's some tips for you to help keep your guitar in tip top shape. Um, I do highly recommend either learning yourself how to, how to take care of your guitar properly and actually do a, a proper setup on it. You can read more about that at guitarsetupguide.com. Or if you're not comfortable doing that or learning that, it's, it is pretty simple. If you just take some time, you can learn the principles. But if you're not comfortable doing that, I highly recommend getting uh, a proper guitar mechanic to check out your guitar because setting up your guitar, having it, the, you know, the action um, at a suitable level for you to play at will really make things easier. You won't have to um, you won't have to press as hard on the strings. Some people really have a hard time playing like bar chords, for instance. And uh, then you look at their guitar and their strings are like, you know, way off the fretboard. And of course, you got to press so hard on those strings just to get them down to the frets. And that's because the action is high. And um, in, in many cases, a simple setup on your guitar can fix that. Also getting the intonation correct on your guitar, which means that every note on your entire guitar is going to be in tune. If it isn't currently, your, your ear is going to be hearing that and it's, it's not going to be very motivating to to you know, play your and practice your instrument because it's always going to be out of tune even if the open strings are in tune. Somewhere up here it's going to be out and it'll just sound a bit goofy. So having a properly tuned guitar uh, does wonders for your practice motivation and of course having a, a guitar with a, a good action uh, just makes things so much easier to play. So um, to learn more about that head on over to guitarsetupguide.com and check out the course that we've reviewed. It's an excellent course uh, put out by Learn and Master. Um, and uh, until next time, we'll see you later. It's Jonathan here from GuitarSetupGuide.com.